Yes. So with this model of education, we cannot look at India being developed by 2022. Now what is that we can do right now? We cannot change the education system. Even the government is trying to change, but still is not changing. If you go and ask the leaders in the government or any bureaucrat, he is going to give a lot of reasons why it cannot be changed. Now, but we can use the system to empower the kids. Now, for example, let me give a practical case study in the limited period of time, whatever we have. And I'll tell you who is the person behind it, with whom we are working. In fact, I run a commercial venture, I'm in the government board in some of the uh, initiative of the government. And I also have a social venture called Vivekananda Institute of Leadership and Governance. So here is a practical case study what we did. And we go to the, uh, it is actually run by Mr. Nalurattam Balu, an ordinary person transforming Tamil Nadu today. And what is he trying to do is, so he is going to the government schools, gives 100 questions to the kids. And kids, kids actually answer the questions. And the moment the kid answers, the kid realizes the strength what she has, he or she has. Post that, we award him, we recognize him. Because only we rec when we recognize him, the kid remembers his strength. And that recognition is not just a memento, that memento will carry what are the four pillars the kid has to follow. And for a government school kid, we found that small award transforms the government school kid. Let me give one more micro uh, case study, which we did recently last week. We went to Kadalu, selected the kids. There was one kid who was excelling in yoga. She did a yoga which nobody can do. And uh, I could imagine that there's a great entrepreneurship, yoga entrepreneurship which is there in that kid. Now what the education system says, you please become an engineer and go to software company, become obese. We never promote what talent that kid has and that kid was awarded with the Manikam on our award and that kid exhibited the talent. Then we identified it could become an entrepreneurship skill. So we have now deployed responsible person, mentor for them, for that kid and that kid is actually transforming herself into entrepreneur or probably she will skill more and we are also identifying opportunities to conduct classes. The kid will conduct classes for the senior citizens and the citizens in Kadalur itself. Look, this is the talent available to the kids. We are all talking thousand feet away. First, to know what development to bring in India, we have to visit India. We have to travel across India. I have travelled across to Tinsukia, to Tutukudi, to Rajkot, to Surat after I graduated myself from the Chartered Accountants and CMA UK qualifications. And I went to understand what is the nerve of this country. This country is not made up with the uh, documents and procedures. This country is made up with a lot of talent. We have to go and uplift the masses. To uplift the masses, all the development professionals, education institutions should know the ground reality. Without knowing the ground reality, whatever we read and implement, it is going to be superficial. We need to go understand the ground realities, implement models of development. This session talks about foreign collaboration. As a universities, you cannot bring in the foreign uh, university into India. But as a universities, you can bring the best skilled educators into your college who can come and transform your students. So identify the best skill providers across the world and bring them back here. And this is not the idea of what I'm proposing. We had a great thinker in India, Swami Vivekananda. He spoke about mass upliftment. He spoke about what education is required. Can you imagine today it is a policy of the government? He said in 1901, he said, if there is an unmarried man, I will send them to Japan, get them skilled, bring back them here, establish workshop, workshops and factories and industry so that they will provide employment to our people so that Europeans will buy from us. This was the vision of Swami Vivekananda in 1901. Even now, it holds good. Better late than never. Let's not do the mistake what we did in 1947 without reforming this education system. Let's use the education system today to empower our co-citizens and upliftment of masses will happen. Let me complete with the quote of Swami Vivekananda itself. We all talk about New India 2022. Swami Vivekananda spoke about New India. Let me tell you what is the New India all about. Let New India arise out of the peasant's cottage, grasping the plough, out of the huts of the fishermen, the cobbler, the sweeper. Let her spring from the grosser's shop, from the besides the over of the fritter cellar. Let her emanate from the factory, from marts, from markets. Let her emerge from groves, forests, from hills and mountains. India to become a new India. India to become a developed India. Developed India is not GDP growth. Developed India means gross happiness index of every citizen in the country. GDP is not a real growth. It is a divinity of the every individual should come out that the, so that it becomes the potential of the country. Right? So that is what is New India all about. Empowering the marginal people, the last citizen. Your skill development agenda should reach the last citizen in the country. Are you into that agenda? Are you empowering the last citizen? Government has a lot of schemes. 
question whether it is reaching. I am sure it is not actually reaching in some certain places in the country. We all talk about the great development ideas. So we will brainstorm. That's what UN Sustainable Development Goals also speak. UN speaks it, Nithi Ayo, National Institute for Transforming India uses that also and transforms itself into the policy making. With this closing note, Mr. Nalurutam Balu is the person who is behind this pro project which I told you. We have given 900 awards in the current year to the student. 900 skills we have identified at the government school level who are going to transform this state of Tamil Nadu and India at large at global platforms also. Thank you. Thanks. Sir. When I met Shakti last week, he was in Swami Vivekananda's uniform, but he's speaking with the British uniform.